Okay, so now I'm ready to export this video. And what I want to do is just select which area I would like to export. So at the moment, I have the start here and the end here. However, if I didn't select an in and an out point, then the program wouldn't know which part to export. And I may end up with a lot of black video. So what I'm going to do is go to the start and then I'm going to click I for an in point. And then I'm going to go to the end. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. And then I go to the end and I press O. So I've just zoomed out to see the whole project. So now I've selected which area I would like to export. And now I click on this render button. And I select MP4 as the preferred format for exporting. This is because it exports at a high quality, however the file size is not large. And I just want to change this to selected zone. And that will only export what I've just told it to export down there. So I just want to select where to save it. So I'm just going to save it in my downloads. And I'm going to call it video. And then I click save. And then I click render to file. And that's beginning to export. And when the download is finished, it will appear in my downloads folder. Okay, so the video has now been exported. Here's my video. And I can just double click on it to yeah, so I'm going to teach you how to edit your own video. So this is going to be the first video. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to edit your own videos together. So I've already recorded one video and this will be the second video that will be appearing in the timeline. Great, so that was my video and I've shown you how to edit your video in KDN Live and export it using KDN Live. So it's a great program. It is a little complex to learn at the start, but once you get used to it, it'll be a great program that you can do a lot with. You can import any kind of video, any kind of image, and you can edit that image as you see fit. And you can also apply a range of effects in the effects bin. So it's a very versatile program. It is available for a Mac as well. This is the PC version, so it does work for both a PC and a Mac.